Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. In your entire life, you've always been told never use just straight gasoline with two-stroke power equipment. Hedge trimmers, string trimmers, leaf blowers, chainsaws, these are all examples of things that you have to use two-stroke oil mixed with gasoline to put in the fuel tank of these machines or else something horrible will happen. Well, what is it that's gonna happen? Today we're gonna find out by sacrificing this brand new pool and pro, brand new pool and pro string trimmer to science. Now the first thing we're gonna do is break this machine down so we can see what a brand new, never been used string trimmer looks like on the inside. Now that we have this thing all apart, we're gonna take a look at a couple of views of it. Top down from where the spark plug would fire, through the carburetor side where fuel would flood in during operation, and then the very back, the crankcase cover. The spattering or the speckling that you see on top of that piston head, that's most likely carbon deposits that have been left from the test at the factory. As we look at the walls, you can see there's not really any scratches, there's no marring. When we take a look at the carburetor side of things, you can see everything looks nice, clean, there's no scratches, there's no gouges, it's just, it's just brand new. You can see here what a brand new piston would look like in a little bit different viewpoint. So this is where the crankshaft would feed through and it goes up and down and pivots back and forth. This was one I received from Echo as a promotional gift. The one inside of the Pool and Pro had that carbon deposit that you saw, but this is what a brand new one would look like. Nothing on it whatsoever. After it's all been put back together, I need to test that I actually did put it together right. So we're gonna run this for a few minutes with correct gas oil mix in it before we go ahead and uh, torture test it with just straight gasoline. <laughs> Not today. So you should be able to see that gas in there sloshing around. No red color, no two-stroke additives. So yeah, I couldn't even really turn that thing over. <laughs> you can see that something seized up there. So we're gonna give that a little bit of cool down time and we'll take it back to the workshop. So what do we learn from all this? Well, as you can see from these pictures, not using oil in your gasoline when you run two stroke power equipment is a death sentence for that equipment. This engine lasted less than 10 minutes. Now granted, that was at full throttle. So maybe if you fired this up, you ran it for a few minutes at half throttle, and then it idled while you walked around a little, and then finally you realized, wait a second, I think I used the wrong gas can. You might be okay, and your equipment might not be a total waste, but you've probably still done some damage. Not using oil led to a lot of metal on metal wear that killed the engine in less than 10 minutes, that's all it took. If you have any interest in uh, this piston that we dedicated to science and sacrificed on its altar, <laughs> uh, let me know. And we will throw this in as one of the giveaway prizes for our 50,000 subscriber giveaway, which is actually coming up a little bit quicker than I anticipated. I don't quite have all my giveaway prizes together. If you've got any questions about this experiment that we did, the science behind it or the practical application behind it, please leave them down below in the comments. I respond to comments almost daily, no matter how old a video is. If you'd like to see some more, here's a few that YouTube thinks you might like. And as always, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so that you don't miss videos and my ego gets stroked as my subscriber count climbs ever higher. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, even if the Pool and Pro string trimmer doesn't.